Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Jaylene and I do readings, period. Yeah. Um, I just want to bring up the point. Sorry, hold on. I'm sorry to put this all out there, all crazy. Like, y'all remember that video that I made earlier? What, like earlier? Um, months ago, months ago. It's called Celebrity Predictions. And I made a prediction about Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber. Um... That was the most negative video I ever had in my life. Like, ever gotten, period. Like, the comments were like, I didn't get that. You're wrong. That's not what I see. That's not the videos that I see about Justin and Haley. Um, da -da -da -da. Anyways, guys, for all the um people that was watching my video, um, did you watch the VMAs? Um, Justin Bieber gave a shout out to his wife. My beautiful wife. Period, guys. Listen. Go, go watch that celebrity prediction. I'm telling you guys, I've been doing this since I was eight years old. Justin Bieber is in love with Haley. I'm sorry. I had to tell y'all. I had to tell y'all. But you know what? That's not even the topic of this reading today. So for today's reading, we're doing what do your angels want to say to you? This is going to be a very special reading, like all of them. Um, because we're going to dive into what are the messages that are sent out for us and how to get those messages. Period. What do our angels want to say to us? Like, I want to hear. Yeah. Period. Thank you for following me on Instagram. Thank you to everybody subscribing to this channel. I love you guys. You guys are my favorite people in the world. Period. Um, Don't forget to hit that notification bell and follow me on all my social medias. Book a reading with me and bye guys so we have here four beautiful piles we have your pile number one pile number two three and four please meditate on these pause the video if needed so for my viewers that picked oh my god i don't know why this shit is glitching right now i'm so sorry guys um so for the viewers that picked pile number one with this diamond what do your angels want to say to you Oh, Lord. Let's get into the affirmation for today. I am at peace with my sexuality. First of all, first of all, pile number one, Diamond Group. This is the first time I've ever read this card. So, we have here, I rejoice in my sexuality and in my own body. My body is perfect for me in this lifetime. I embrace myself with love and compassion. So, real big message coming here with the angels. Um... Tapping into that sexuality. Um, I'm not telling y'all to go play with y'all. I mean, what the hell? This is not sex ed, guys. But hey, if you want to feel good and you don't have partners, you know, get yourself a vibrator. That's the messages coming in here. The angels want to tell you, you know, some of you guys, you don't want to be having casual sex. That's fine. And even if you do have casual sex, that's fine too. Do what you please with your body here on this earth. Who cares? We're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. Anyways, tap into your sexuality. Buy yourself a vibrator. I'm telling you guys, you will never be angry if you buy yourself a vibrator. But if you are a male watching this, um, tap into your sexuality as well, you know. Um... You know, even if it means casual sex, even if it means playing with yourself, tap into it. You know, the angels are screaming to tap into your sexuality. You like, you know, I don't know if some of you guys been feeling a little dusty and dusty in a sense where, you know, nothing is really like, like passionate for you. Like you don't get turned on, like, you know, tap into your sexuality here. And then we have here three of pentacles. We have here lovers and then we have six of swords. So what your angels want to say to you is that you're coming into a, a very peaceful, harmonious time in your life that even the people in your life are going to be very, very peaceful. And like people are going to be matching your vibe. They're going to be encountering people that are matching your energy, matching your spirituality, matching your mindset, period. Like this is so good. Pile number one. Uh, with the lover's card, it's also like indicating that some of you guys are going to meet a lover or going to meet a soulmate in the upcoming weeks. For some of you guys, it just means that you're going to be loving more on yourself. Like more self-love is going to be activated, meaning you guys are going to be so freaking confident. Like it's going to be ridiculous. So confidence is in the air. Sexuality is in the air. You're going to be looking sexy. You're going to be feeling good. You're going to be having the right people around you. Like how can life get better than that? Period. We have here fourth cups 
extremely amazing card four of cups in reverse i love this card knight of cups and then we have the page of cups in reverse so what your angels also want to tell you is that you know you're going to be coming into a period of a lot of like um stability also stability and not also stability in career and money but like stability in your life overall like you're gonna see that your life is not gonna attract as much drama like it's just a lot of good vibes like i don't know if you guys been through a period of like good vibes or like good people but i'm here to tell you that you're gonna soon come across this type of vibe you're not gonna be bored i feel like some of you guys probably were alone and bored like for some point of your life or some periods this this is done this is over with the bad ends of the stick this is over with bad times are over basically because with the knight of cups it's like the universe is offering you this new chapter like this new um this new type of like point of view this new reality is coming in for you and with the four of cups in reverse it's like it's gonna be everything you ever wanted like you see here upright like you know they're handing her the cup and she still doesn't want it it's gonna be in reverse you guys are gonna be literally loving your life loving the energy loving life just wow this is an amazing an, an amazing energy because this is like bliss like fulfillment this is blissful energy if some of you guys don't know what's blissful is basically another meaning for happiness but like 10 times more like it's just every aspect in your life and you know Another message that your angels want to let you know is that don't be so hard on yourself, especially if you don't have the proper things that you feel like you want or you should have. Like I like I should have a car by now or I should have a house by now. You know, whatever you think you should have, the universe and the angels want to tell you to look at the bigger picture. You know, you should have those things, but you don't right now. Meaning you should enjoy the moment where you don't have these things because that's a chapter in your life that you'll always remember like the moment before the big stuff the moment before you had a car you know how about we stop thinking about the things that we don't have and start just realizing that you know we're more luckier than we think we are and i tell you guys to move in that energy because once you do move in that grateful you know loving i love everything i have right now this is when everything you ever wanted actually comes and this is when your fruits grow faster literally it's like a fertilizer people don't but people think that everything is so patient that like you gotta wait for the dreams you gotta wait for this you gotta there's no fucking telling on how fast your success comes there's no fast but me from my experience you know adding that gratefulness daily into your life that's a fertilizer for your fruits we have here strength, we have here the three of pentacles again, and then we have here beautiful, the six of pentacles again. So this is going to be a period the angels are telling you where a lot of the healing that you went through, a lot of the things that you started to realize are going to be working into your favor. Basically, your healing is going to finally reveal itself. You know, it's going to come into fruits. It's going to show you peace. You wanted peace, pound number one. You wanted harmony. You wanted a good life. This is now in store for you. Um, career advancements. Career advancements. Um, meeting newer people that are for your highest good. You know, there's nothing better than meeting connections that are just going to help you get better and better. You know what I'm saying? Because it's through the connections that we get knowledge. You know, life is like that. You know, we all give knowledge to one another. Me sitting here telling you guys in this video, I'm sharing knowledge with you guys that you, you're you probably either going to write a book about it. You're either going to tell somebody that needs this information that I'm telling you. You know, it's all a cycle and it's a beautiful, beautiful um what is what was i gonna say it's like a beautiful momentum you know you're spreading love and peace and i'm doing the same and everybody is doing the same it's just like that and i feel like that's gonna be the energy that you're gonna embody if you felt like you didn't meet people before in your life that got you that you know had your same mentality you're gonna meet people that are actually gonna be helping you heal better not only that you're gonna be getting a lot more advances and abundances from the universe like literally I'm not lying. Like, you're going to be getting so much abundance, pile number one.
we have here also what do your angels want to tell you we have your indecision the thinking woman and then we have here the yin and the yang what your angels also want to tell you is to tap more into yourself and who you are you know removing the problems and the past traumas that you thought made you like remove all of it and move now with a healed heart open your heart to the newer possibilities of newer things in life newer people newer and better experiences basically the angels want to let you know to start creating your reality just start it start by thinking about the things that you want and think of it as if you already have it and think that you know you're so grateful and just move with the great gratefulness period um also i didn't know i would ever have to tell anybody this in my in, in my videos but treat others the way you want to be treated guys because that also comes in with the whole spirituality you know it's not also healing and doing the shadow work and being selfish sometimes it's also you know being kind and generous to others it's it might not be paid directly from them but it sure is being watched from the higher forces your angels you know they're they're being if you're if you can be helpful to a stranger go ahead and do so because you are getting a lot of advances you're like a flowing light right now your energy is just radiating you're moving in a very high frequency pile number one and you're not even realizing it yourself you know you're moving very like spiritual but like the end of the spirituality not the shadow work that you have to do basically you're out of the shadow work for some of you guys you're coming close to getting out the shadow work i heard but um for a lot of you guys wow i'm so proud of your spiritual development and i want to say congratulations because it's not easy you know sometimes we find ourselves bettering ourselves and then looking back to the times where we were just treated like pure shit like we was just and then we look back and we get angry with ourselves because it's like wow how did we let ourselves get treated like that you know what i'm saying but this is all about the healing process and learning that we couldn't change that we couldn't do anything we couldn't stand up for ourselves in the moment but it's okay because we were supposed to learn that we were supposed to go through that to then now realize wow i should really have my back next time next time i should you know but we wouldn't know that next time if we would have never went through it in the first First place period we're not born knowing how to react to certain situations we got to stop being so hard on ourselves like damn i should have reacted this way no we should stop that you know what i'm saying and that's another message coming in from the angels real quick that stop being so hard on yourself you know what i'm saying like you've already went through what you had to go through you've already encountered the difficulties you've already don't try to look back at it and make it harder for yourself don't instead realize that this only made you stronger and those that partook in the destruction of you are only destroying themselves period period i said that beautifully right there but pile number one this is just for you for your self-healing for your self-fulfillment so that you can walk on earth with more happiness more gratitude i just love me a person that's just so blissful there's no such thing as being super happy you know what i'm saying and those that don't get your happiness they're just miserable um you see here that with the ace of pentacles the universe is just going to be granting you your wishes from left to right you guys been doing the work hello that's you deserve this you deserve all the good things coming into your life pile number one period what the angels want to tell you is that you know continue to work on whatever you're trying to do within yourself continue to work on yourself because i'm getting a lot of you guys here have been continually working on your spiritual development. You've been working on being a better you. And this, for sure, for sure, is going to bring you about more happiness, more stability, and more enjoyment overall. Because self, yo, how many times I have to tell you guys that love is the answer to everything. But the love starts with you. Once you love yourself, you can show that love outside. You know what I'm saying? And when we show that love outside, it's like all the problems that we thought were big become so minuscule. They become so small because love is really the solution to everything. And when we move, like we are living in a limitless world with limitless possibility, possibilities, limitless miracles, period. You know, 
How can we fail? How can we possibly fail in this world? That's no. You're literally getting handed the golden platter here. I'm giving you the secrets to life, Paul number one. <laughs> um, patience and reverse. Stand your ground and firm foundation and reverse. So the angels want to tell you that. Do not be so hard on yourself that everything will soon come into place. You'll soon find your life purpose. You'll soon find that perfect that perfect like foundation to start your journey. You're going to find that. But everything requires patience. And not the patience towards the stuff that you're working on, but patience within yourself that you're going to heal properly and you're gonna, and you're not going to be so hard on yourself. And what stands your ground, your angels want to let you know that you've always been right. Your heart has always been right and you've always been in the right direction. And they want to also let you know to stand your ground and don't let anybody change your mind about anything you made a decision on. You guys are a walking light, a walking force. There's, Believe me, this is why people wanted to turn you off because you were too bright. You know what I'm saying? And honestly... Look how this person is standing in the light. Look but look at the light like literally surrounding this person. This is you. And not everybody is going to relate to that. I've I've met a lot of people that once they don't understand something, they think it's not right. They just cuz you don't understand something does not make it wrong, does not make it not right. It's just something you just don't understand. You don't have the mental capacity to understand. And you have to learn that it's not your job to open anybody's minds. I have to tell myself that a lot. It's not my job to open anybody's mind. I'm just going to let you, I'm going to give you the message. It's going to probably kick in, not now, not later, but whenever it does, which is none of my business, I hope it does you good. That's all. Period. With the last couple of messages, what do your angels want to say to you? We have here temperance in reverse, nine of coins, wow. And we have here five of swords. The angels also want to let you know to forget your past, forget it. But keep it in mind when you come across the same people again. Do not forget what they did. Forgive, but not forget what they did, you know? Because, you know what I'm saying? Let's say, it. I mean, it matches a lot of the things. You know, for example, when you get a criminal record, you did your time, you get out, period. But at the end of the day, you still have a criminal record because the system cannot forget that you did a crime. You're forgiven. You're free. But you have a record. And keep in mind that these people, they have records with you. You forgive them, they're free, they're on their own. You are not holding nothing bad against them. You're, you're, you're treating them equally, treating them with a clean slate, like a, like a criminal that came out and is getting a new job, a clean slate, you're treating them equally, but you still have that record in the back of your mind because people will do it again and again. You will go through cycles with the same type of people and be like, what the hell? This person still is not changed until you decide to get up out of there and change so temperance here with the nine of coins release all worry with money release all worry with career because you are led in the right direction you are led into the right path so this is so beautiful pile number one so continue on to your path continue to literally work on you because everything else is being handed everything is going to be coming in flowingly i'm sorry there's no, there's no such thing as working hard for this group because everything will be coming in flowingly. We have here, we're going to be jumping into the advice section of this reading. We have here, a personal issue reaches resolution. What can I say, guys? We have here, luck is on your side. So, guys, I picked these cards out, but I don't look at them. So, a lot of these messages, they all resonate. And I'm here to tell you that the universe is holding your hand right now on 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 this world in life they're holding your hand they're walking with you every moment every step your angels are walking with you and they want to let you know to release all worry in all aspects of your life because everything just hand it to them it's gonna be handled 
period if you have any questions this is the time to ask because the angel answers are here and we have here yes so yes and then we have here there's something better i tell you guys there's always something better if you didn't get it your way the first time it's because there's something better always on its way so with the divine feminine just entered the chat let's see the advice section we have here I love being in my body. I am centered and grounded. I am at peace with the material world in which I live. I am able to let go of fear and I know that I am internally safe. Period. This goes along with everything I just said. So a lot of you guys, you're going to be tapping into more self-love. You're going to be so confident in your body that anybody can judge you and you're going to look at them and laugh. And that's the goal right there. To be non-offended. like like non-reactional like no reactions on this side what did you just say about yourself <laughs> we have here sip and paint so also today do something you like to do relax do something like free don't be so hard on yourself don't think that you always got to work and clean and work you know like take it easy on yourself today and do something you like so that's all for today thank you so much for clicking on this video bye guys so for my viewers that picked pile number two with the rose cords, what do your angels want to say to you? Let's hop in with your reading. We're going to start first with the affirmation. I am willing to let go. I release others to experience whatever is meaningful to them. And I am free to create that which is meaningful to me. So a lot of you guys are letting go of the past. And I'm here to fucking tell you, let that go. Let it go. You know why? Because... If you realize that you're literally setting yourself back, just rethinking about those old little situations that hurt you and haunted you, just, it's setting you back. Think about, are those people even thinking about what you're thinking about? Just realize that you're tired. I had to tell myself one time, I'm tired of thinking about this. I'm tired. Get out. Get out my head. <laughs> literally. What do your angels want to say to you? We have here the seven of canes in reverse the page of swords in reverse and then we have the five of cups in reverse the angels want to let you know that the worst is yet to be over it's over the worst is over the best is coming now um a lot of you guys been going through like a really stagnant period i feel like some of you guys have been feeling bored some of you guys have been sick, I heard. Um, I'm sorry for you guys that have been sick. Um, get better, please. Um, your angels want to say to you that... Let's get some more clarifying messages because these is not adding up. I love the kawaii, but sometimes the kawaii is just too simple, you know. Sometimes we need more messages, but, um, you know, the worst is over. That's the big message here. We have here the two of cups, the queen of cups, and then we have the ace of wands. So this is very beautiful. Some of you guys are going to be here coming into connection with a soulmate I heard. If you were attracted to pound number one, go back. Um, with the queen of cups, um, you guys are just be, are just going to be getting really beautiful. Some of you guys are going to be getting a lot of, like, you know, sexual partners that I heard. Some of you guys are going to be... Um, finding a new lover somebody new some of you guys are going to get into a one night stand and find the love of your life i heard for some of you guys i don't know why that message came in clear but this is what your angels want to say to you your angels want to let you know that you are beautiful continue to be you and be kind-hearted no matter what others do to you no matter how many times other people take advantage of you don't let them take your heart because that's what they want that's what the devil wants that's what the energy wants for you to lose yourself, lose your heart, but don't because you're winning. You're winning. Your cup, keep your cup high. Keep it up because those that didn't appreciate you giving your cup out, those are going to be the ones that are going to come back and try to ask for yours. So don't, don't be so hard on yourself, pile number two. Let go of whoever you need to let go in your life to be successful. If they're not adding value, you need to remove them because they're just going to be holding you back from life they're going to be holding you back from the love of your life they're going to be holding you back period because you know i'm not trying to say birds of a feather flock to, what's what's that saying that say that when you your environment makes you um i didn't believe that 
until I used to see it in my own eyes. I used to see it because the thing is, guys, your environment affects you because, you know, you talk about your business with people, right? Some people. If you're if you're woke woke, you know that talking about your business is not that good of, good of idea. But if you used to, these people will give you feedback. These people will give you advice. You will take the advice. You know what I'm saying? Most of, nine times out of ten, when you're surrounded about certain people that you love, you take their advice because you think they want better for you. But if they are not even doing better for themselves that you don't even know. They're literally setting you up for failure. But the thing, the catch here is that we don't know how other people are doing. We don't know. We can only see. But even if we can see, the eyes can be deceiving. You get what I'm saying? Overall, we shouldn't take advice for, uh, from other people. We shouldn't, you know, period. We shouldn't take advice from other people. But if they're doing what we love doing, if they're on our same momentum mentally, if they're healed like us, if they're, you know, everything has to be at the same level. And if it's not, then it's not going to add. Some of us, we love people so much that we want to take them with us for the rest of our lives. Until we realize that once we heal, we realize how insecure they are. We, re we realize that they're still moving through their traumas. And that's when we're like, damn, we don't even relate anymore. Because you're not even on that same mental that mental clarity that i am at you're not even woke you're not even as woke as i am so you're not going to understand my viewpoint my point of view you're not going to understand it so it's not going to work out and that's the problem with a lot of people we want to force these relationships we can't we cannot take these people with us because we there's no book we're not a teacher. Some of us are healers. We can heal people. Yeah, of course, we can help people solve their problems. But we can't help them heal to that level that we're healed because they didn't go through the same experiences that we did. Everybody has a different playing field. Sorry, guys. So with the nine of fucking swords here, your angels want to let you know, stop trying to fix everybody. Stop trying to fix people. Stop trying to heal others. If you are healed, pal number two, you are good. Congratulations. You are good. Continue on healing. Continue on spreading the word. But don't try to set yourself back or put all these burdens on yourself trying to, you know, help people. Because you guys are the magician. A lot of you guys are healers. You guys are the magician. But I want to let you know, the angels want to let you know that stop trying to take all the burdens. Stop trying to fix everybody. You are a healer, but people know your prices. So don't be going through ends and trying to get free readings, trying to do free services for people. You know, they're saying, hold your spirituality, hold your powers to a high regards. You guys are an impact. You cannot always be there for everybody. You're going to... Some of you guys are draining yourselves. Stop it. You're not going to have enough energy for your abundances and to receive your fruits if you're just constantly picking up after others' mistakes and helping them clear their messes. You know, there's so much advice that you can get for free. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we got to realize that we can't fix people, you know? We can't. Some people, they can't help themselves. Some people, they like where they're at. And then we feel bad because we don't like how they're living. But that's our problem, right? Let's live how we want to live, but let others do what they got to do. But hey, this all comes into play unless somebody comes up to you and is like, I don't know what to do. Fine. Give them some insights. But if the person is constantly and constantly using you and using you and just emotionally dumping on you, you need to realize that, you know, they're being a vampire. You got to have discernment, guys. Door to spirit. And then we have here the broken heart. Release expectations on people. Release them. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was talking to my boyfriend earlier that, you know, we had these little friends that I was constantly like doing the most for he's like no you weren't you were just having fun you wanted to have fun i told him i felt like i didn't have fun and i felt like i was giving too much of myself you know i literally bought this person 
they had the same birth they kind their birthday was like two weeks after mine but i bought this person in a 150 dollar bottle and you know i felt like i wasn't even being recognized i didn't even feel thanked for it and to this day me and this person we don't even have each other on social media but i fucking bought them on a 150 dollar bottle you know what i'm saying and i felt like i literally i'm not saying i drained my financials to buy her a bottle i didn't but i felt like i did too much i didn't i wasn't i feel like the same thing would have happened if i would have bought a fucking 40 dollar hennessy bottle like i feel like everything would have been fine um, the same way that they are right now. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I did too much, but my expectations were that if I would have bought this bottle, maybe she would have thanked me more, or maybe we could have been friends, or maybe we could have had a, a better, you know, relationship or a better start to a friendship. But then I realized, you know, those expectations were the ones that bit me in the ass, you know, who bought me in a $150 bottle after those two weeks for my birthday? Nobody. I didn't even get a happy birthday. I didn't even get a follow. Guys, I didn't even get a, a, a high, <laughs> I didn't even get a, a what's your name. This person just found out my name two, two days ago. Mind you, we're in September. This happened in May, literally. So just letting you go, no, this person didn't even know my name. And I did too much expecting something. This is what angels want you to know. Stop, stop doing pe things for people and expecting them to hand you the same energy because they're not. We're empaths. We're always going to do more than people do for us all the time because we feel more, more love. We feel more like we feel that more. Um, I don't know. I just feel like us empaths. We treat people the way we, we want to be treated 10 times. We always do that. We treat people immensely good because we want that same treatment. But sometimes we're not treated the same. And those expectations actually makes makes us feel bad about ourselves, makes us feel worthless, makes us feel more insecure. So for you to get that, get those fucking feelings out of here, let go of the expectations. If you are a good person, be a good person. But don't have expectation for people because some people, they're not on your level. They will never be on your level. They will never know how to treat you because they never had a person like you. You know what I'm saying? Until you're that motherfucker that goes in their life and then comes back and never comes back. You see what I'm saying? So that for this person, getting them... Ugh, I don't even want to talk about this whole situation. But sometimes I feel like my situations kind of relate to you guys. You know, because I found myself doing too much. Like, you see, buying this person in a $150 bottle and them not even... Still not even knowing my name. It's just a little, like... Like, a stab in the chest. It makes, it makes me feel insecure about myself. But in reality, the only person that should be insecure is them because they will never, ever, ever get that side of me again. I will never treat somebody better than I treat myself. I will never, with that being said, even if it takes a $150 Classe Azul tequila bottle, I don't care. I will never do that again. Period. Next time I'll buy the, I'll I'll buy I'll buy me a 1942 or a fucking closet as well. I'll buy that shit for myself first before I ever buy anything for anybody's birthday. Thinking you know, oh we birthday twins. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Like I did too much. Am I regretful of it? Yeah, but can I change it? No. But what can I do about it? It's a lesson. Now I know. You know this person. You know they're a celebrity. I don't even want to talk. I have a a couple celebrity people around me. They're a celebrity, so you know they're high in the in the in the clouds. I told my boyfriend that. I mean, you know, sh they're high in the clouds. They think that it's normal for them to receive one hundred and fifty dollar bottles for their birthday. They think it's normal, but I'm gonna let them know that it's not normal. And next time, it will never come out of my pockets. Ah, never, because you know what I'm saying. Like, I feel like we do too much for people, and this person still didn't know my name. Like, still didn't even know my name. Like, guys, you see what I'm saying? This this. Go into your reading, though. Let's go into your reading, though. We have here the Knight of Cups in reverse again. You know, it's like you constantly doing stuff for others and people not, like, even appreciating the little things. You know, here, Eight of Pentacles, working on yourself. The angels want to let you know with the Chariot in reverse, continue on your journey, even if it has to be alone, pile number two. Don't depend on anybody, the angels say here. Your best person on your side will forever be you, pile number two. That's what the angels want to let you know. You probably don't have your soul tribe now. You probably 
probably have people that are taking advantage of you or you probably already cut these people off that did and you find yourself right now in this solitude but i'm here to tell you that there's nothing more beautiful than solitude when you can give all that loving and affection that you was wasting on other people for years when you put that shit on yourself you can see love you can see life kissing you on your forehead that's what happens when you add that love and appreciation to yourself and you put it towards your career and the things you want and you live for you life kisses you on your forehead and gives it all to you period Pile number two, love you first. Before you think about, damn, how does this person feel about, think about how you feel about thinking about that. How you feel being around that person. How do you feel being there? How do you feel being invited? How do you feel? How do you, 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 you. This is a period in your life, pile number two, where you gotta be focused on you because nobody else will. If you don't love you first, how can you set the fucking plane? How can you expect other people to respect you and love you and give back to you if you don't even give back to yourself? If you don't even appreciate yourself? If you out here giving you giving your all to everybody for free like dollars at a strip club? Get out of get out of the spirit. Be selfish. Be mean. Be a bitch. I don't give a fuck. Do what you got to do. But get it out of your get it out your system. Get it out your system, pal number 2 because at the end of the day these people will only be working in your favor as long as you are moving in that direction. When you move in a direction that you have boundaries, that you respect yourself, and you're not going to allow anybody to take advantage of you, guess what? You're in that power. What else do the angels want to say to my power number two? We have here trapped in fear, memories of love and fertility in reverse. A lot of you guys have to release a lot of fears that you have about your past, about who you are, about the future. Release all fears. The worries, pack them up in a bag. Write down all your worries, pound number one. I mean, pound number two. So if you were attracted to pound number one, go back. Put them in a bag and throw them the fuck out. Give them to the angels. Tell, hey, angels, handle my worries. They'll, got, they'll get it for you. Believe me, they'll handle it for you. They'll handle it for you. But that fear in your heart, that worry, that anxiety, get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Realize that everything will be working in your favor. Memories of love and fertility in reverse. It just gives me the idea that some of you guys are going to be making more memories of love with people that are more valuable. Things and people that are more valuable to your energy and to you. So continue to be on this energy, the angels say. Continue to live on for you and continue to get out, get fear out your system because this is only going to ignite more confidence, more advancements, and just more prosperity overall. You know what I'm saying? The love within yourself with the love outside, love itself is going to bring fruits. Love is the answer. Sorry to say it. With the last couple of messages, what do your angels want to let you know? The hangman the queen of cups the knight of cups and the sun in reverse continue to be you continue to be happy continue to to give out your love to the world continue to be you even if those don't appreciate it don't dwell on the appreciation dwell on the fact that you were a loving person and that you were adding love everywhere you went with the sun in reverse remove all expectations of people they're going to act the way they are they are acting. They're going to act the way they want to be treated. Okay? So they're just setting their plane out for themselves. So you want to be loved by life. You want to be loved by people. Continue to love and continue to feel loved. You know why? Because that's the only thing that matters. And that's the only thing that's going to bring you abundance. Not the way they're reacting. Not the way others are acting. Not the way how they're appreciating you. Leave it. The way they're not appreciating you is the way others will not appreciate them in the years to come. Let them be. Let them be assholes. Let them be ungrateful. Who cares? Pile number three. I'm here to tell... No, pile number two. So if you were attracted to three, go next. But pile number two, the angels just want to tell me, you know, continue to have that love. Continue to have that heart. Because don't change. Not for anybody. Don't change for anybody. 
because this is going to always work in your favor this love this abundance it's always going to be working at your end period so we have here the advice section of this reading we have here it's time to take action and surrender to the divine so this is super beautiful so let go of the past let it go surrender live in the moment guys live with gratitude be grateful that you woke up and you're breathing you have two arms two legs you woke up in a comfortable bed you woke up and your ac is running like little things you woke up and you had a really good delicious breakfast anything that love i'm telling you love matters most love it will always be bigger love will always what's that called overpower any type of hate any type of envy it will just always overpower any type of negative emotion period if you have any questions this is the time to ask because the angel answers are here and we have here get more information so whatever you're inqu inquiring about get more information on it you'll find it guys ask your angels wow so ask your angels about it um great way nature numbers um tell yourself if i see this color in the next hour i'm gonna do it you know do those little tricks on you test your intuitive skills i'm gonna be honest with you guys nature is our playground is our spiritual playground the magic is all around us the birds the flies everything like i had to realize through the spiritual journey that everything around me was magic even the energy even me speaking to you guys right now is energy that's why i always try to make it you know period as good as i have to make it, as positive as i have to make it you know i can't find i you know it's just People always want you to find for the negatives around any type of thing, even readings. What's the negatives? Like, you know, if you can find a positive within any situation, why not? Why not? Period. Let's tap into the divine feminine, just into the chastel for extra affirmations. We have here, write yourself a love letter to come back to. So period, write yourself a love letter. Um make affirmations start manifesting start writing what you want in pieces of papers and watch it flow honestly guys i look back to my old notebooks back in the day i have everything i wanted everything the looks the body everything i wanted i have it we have here catch up on a nap unless you got it in you for a movie so relax that's what the divine feminine wants to let y'all know for today so relax for today do some affirmations watch a movie do something nice for yourself today okay because we're not here for a long time we're here for a good time so let's appreciate even those little smallest moments of fun even bliss period so thank you so much for watching and clicking on this video that is all for today bye guys so for my viewers that picked what in the world so for my viewers that picked pile number three with this black tourmaline what do your angels want to say to you today? Let's start off with this affirmation for today. Ooh. We have here, I express my creativity. Yes. My unique and creative talents and abilities flow through me and are expressed in deeply satisfying ways. My creativity is always in demand. Period. Tap into that creativity, power number three. Yes. A lot of you guys been tapping into your creativity. A lot of you guys are content creators, I heard. Some of you guys are just musicians, creative, period. Oh, my God. Some of you guys are singers. What the angels want to let you know. What the angels want to say. We have here death in reverse. The seven of cups in reverse and the queen of cups. So... Um, your angels want to let you know that you're doing an extremely good job already. Um, your life right now is, is doing extremely well. Um, I know for some of you guys with the death card, 
in reverse you're probably like what's going on any changes um i see here that the problem is that the angels want to let you know that you don't need to make any more changes to your life i feel like even if you guys wanted something better or you guys are just like i feel like some of you guys are just looking out for what's next what's more um the angels want to let you know and want to say that you'll be coming soon to a transformation. We have here the nine of swords, ace of swords in reverse, and temperance. But there's a constant, constant um, reassurance to stop being so hard on yourself. You know, when you start any creative project, just starting is successful. Just starting. Let that shit go that we have to work so hard for our stuff. Consistency, patience. I, it all plays intact. But let's not forget that we ha we are already successful just by starting what the hell we said we was going to start. So regardless of where you're at right now, in regards to views, content, where you're at right now in your career or in your creativities, you feel like you're not at the right moment or you're like really set back or behind i'm here to let you know get that shit out of your head there is no finish line in your life just letting you know there's no finish line in your life there is no time period there's no nothing continue to do what you're doing continue to be consistent because regardless of it you're going to win the universe are watching your efforts you can never go wrong with working on what you love you can never go wrong so the angels here are letting me know to have some sort of balance with the way that you work and enjoy yourself. If you're overworking yourself, you're going to see stagnancy. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see it because you're not being gentle. You're not being nice to yourself. Everything plays a, a major role in everything. You know what I'm saying? So especially how you treat yourself, how you talk to yourself inside, you know, if you're always like, oh my God, you're so slow or this shit is not working out or, you know, all those, all those negative like thoughts that you might have, get them out the door. When you're in, in a creative, when you're a creative, when you're an influencer, when you're in any type of like field of creativity, you need to realize that a, a lot of your work has to do with how you're feeling how you're doing, how you are mentally, like, period. So if you are hard on yourself, if you're mean to yourself, believe it or not, and when it comes to creativity, you're not going to find it. Because creativity comes within, comes from the heart, from the soul. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that TikTok of Jocelyn Hernandez. This is from the heart, the soul. I'm that <laughs> from the streets. <laughs> I get that money <laughs> period um you guys you guys are like a workaholic a lot of you guys are capricorns moon rising stop being like that you know i i was always all like that like i when i started doing this i was really like hard on myself like oh my god like like when is this gonna go anywhere and then it, it wasn't until i seen the comments and i told myself you know i'm gonna stop doing this for views and likes and comments. I'm gonna start doing this because I wanna get my messages out there. I wanna get my messages out there to as many people as possible. When you view your creativity into the bigger picture of your higher purpose, you can never go wrong. You can never go bored. You can never just lose, you know? It's impossible to lose at what you love doing. You know what I'm saying? Because if you love doing, everything is just a growing experience. You're going to just start growing and leveling up. You know what I'm saying? So what your angels want to tell you, stop being so scared of your own advancements, of your own success. Stop being so hard on yourself and be grateful that you're actually doing better than you were five years ago. If you look back, you're actually living the life that you wanted five years ago. So why are you being so hard on yourself now? Five years ago, you would have been like, oh my God, yes you looking at you now would have been like oh my god i can't believe it so why are you being so hard on yourself now why are you so mean to yourself you know stop being mean to yourself you know um hello the eight of swords and i didn't even see that card until i said stop being so mean to yourself stop being so mean to yourself pound number three you are a boss you're meant for greatness and if you weren't a boss then i wouldn't be telling you this to stop being so mean on yourself bosses have to be mean to themselves because who else is going to be mean to them they're a boss they control everything you know what i'm saying but learn how to have a better relationship with you you know why because you are your only partner 
you are your partnership you are your sidekick you yourself are your sidekick you yourself know what you want what's what feels right what doesn't so be nice to yourself so that you can get these messages even clearer and by the messages becoming clearer i mean by the creativity the creativity is going to come in the ideas for the videos the ideas for posts for what you want to do for song lyrics for that book whatever you want to do for the podcast whatever it is pile number three it can come in but as long as you're nicer to yourself and you tell yourself i wasn't born doing this i have to i have to come from somewhere i have to start from somewhere you know what i'm saying resting being nice to yourself knowing how to take a break knowing how to you know you know break free from all you know what's that called um for from work you know not being so hard on yourself from work and now working yourself out like relaxing knowing knowing when to relax a boss knows when to take their vacation so why you don't know when to take a vacation what how do you know not to when to take a break a boss knows when to take a break you are a boss, pound number three, and I'm not going to stop saying this because you are. What else do your angels want to let you know? Walking away in reverse, the temple path in reverse, and the man holding a heart. A lot of you guys also are going to be adding more love to your life. The angels say add more love to yourself, and this is going to create more love given from others. This is going to create potential love partners if you're single. If you're single right now, your soulmate is going to come as soon as you start loving on yourself, as soon as you start taking yourself out and dressing and looking like you want and dressing and whatever. Did I say dressing already? But basically looking how you want, acting like you want, loving those that you want. You know what I'm saying? Loving everything, period. Everything is loving. Well, until people don't love you, you know, not giving love to those that don't love you, period. Loving on yourself more than anything. We have here walking away, you know, this is also going to realize, this is also going to ignite those realizations in your head that you should walk out from certain, certain situations. Once you're nicer to yourself, you'll realize that a lot of people are not nice to themselves and they're also not nice to you. So you'll, yeah, and you'll tell yourself, I don't deserve this. Uh-uh, I don't want this for myself. No, I don't even like this energy for me, you know? And so it's going to be easier for you to walk away from certain situations that don't serve you. This love, this this being nicer to yourself, period, guys. You know, are you guys mean to a baby? Then think of yourself as a baby walking on this earth. You, you're only learning. You're only getting better. You know what I'm saying? You can only learn from your experiences. You know what I'm saying, pal number three? But you also cannot be so hard on yourself because you didn't know. If a baby spills a drink, you're not going to yell at the baby. They didn't know. They didn't know that they could spill that, moving like that. You know what I'm saying? You didn't know that you was fucking up your life, you know, giving attention to the wrong people or doing things... For you know, you didn't know that, but you had to learn it somehow, some way. So let's stop being hard on ourselves, okay, pile number three? Another message that the angels want to let you know is that the eight of cups in reverse, the empress in reverse, and the knight of wands is to watch your company because they're going to be affecting how much you grow. Yes, learning how to walk away from people, that is going to be working into your advantage. A lot of you guys are going to realize that alone, you do it better alone. A lot of you guys thought that you had friends that really cared about you, friends from a long time, and they just ended up being foe. They just ended up being not what you thought. They ended up being jealous and envious. They ended up not supporting you in your dreams. And those that are not adding, we have to be subtracting. Because if not, we're only subtracting our values. We're subtracting our beliefs and we're subtracting our abundance when we're adding to them. Period. So if they're not adding, subtract them with the empress in reverse you guys are bosses everything you touch turns into gold but you guys are highly affected by your environment you're that group i'm sorry to tell you you're highly affected by your your environment even if it's your parents guys you guys gotta watch who you're being around and who you are sharing your personal business with because not a lot of people want better for you you are already doing better than a lot of people you think people want you to do better than them we have here disruption in reverse recognition and reward in reverse and we got triumph in reverse so 
a lot of people in your life they come in to disrupt anything you have because they're jealous so be careful of any energies because right now you're an empath so you're attracting a lot of different people into your life pile number three even people that come across as fans or people that love you they will still hurt you or suck your energy out you know what i'm saying with tram you guys are destined for success. You're destined to have recognition. You're destined for rewards. But in reality, you have to realize that within yourself. It's not only me telling you guys you're destined for this. You have to sit down with yourself and tell you guys and tell yourself, I know what I'm capable of. I am destined for success. So I'm going to move like I am destined for that. And I'm going to surround myself with the same groups of people that think like me, think alike, have goals, have dreams like mine. And that's what I'm going to do. So the angels want to let you know that success is on its way. Success is down the corner, but it starts with you, pile number three. Literally, we have here the page of cups upright, the knight of coins in reverse, and then we have here the ace of coins upright. So the angels want to say that they are guiding you into the right direction to move into your path to fulfillment and success and happiness and when it comes to career they're going to be helping you handle it but you also have to put in the work put in the healing work putting the loving work towards yourself because how you view yourself inside is going to be reflecting in the outer. So if inside you feel like you're a failure and you're moving slow, in the outside it will be appearing. So watch for them thoughts, pile number three, because you guys are a walking, powerful, spiritual force. You don't understand. Your thoughts at this point is going to be flourishing. So watch it. Watch what you think, period. Walk into the success. Walk like a boss. Ask yourself, do these people deserve to be in my energy? Don't beg people to hang out with you anymore. You are a boss. If they, if they, you are an influencer, meaning you're a boss. If they are attracted to your values, if they want to learn from you, if they are your fan, they have to follow you. You cannot beg nobody for your energy. You cannot beg anybody to treat you right. You cannot do that bosses are not beggars let them come you built the table you're the boss you built the table now let whoever wants to sit sit down do not tell people oh sit here no you want to sit at my table go ahead and if you don't want to then uh, adios but i have other people that are waiting on me and i have other people that love me regardless that's how we have to move guys in order to get ourselves out of toxic situations we have to realize that you know there are better things out there. It Once we like put those limits in our head, like, oh my God, this is the only friend that I ever been able to relate to, then that's the only friend that's going to continue to throw you in the mud. That's going to be the continual friend that will be throwing you out in the cold, doing all the things to you. Yeah, because that's what you deserve. And then you're like, oh, that's the only friend that ever, that's the only friend that ever. Oh, so the universe is going to be continually sending you people just like that. So you're going to be going through the same cycles until you put a stop to it and realize, I'm tired of being treated like this. This is not how I want to be treated. Deuces. You're not the type of person I like. Da -da -da. That's when the universe hears you. And that's when the universe oh, knows, oh, this is what you like. Okay, so then this is what I'm going to be sending you. Realizing that there's always something better. There's always a better job. There's always better friends. There's always a better career. There's always something better. Always something better. But we have to believe so ourselves. We have here, don't let pride get into your way. So we're now here in the advice section of this reading. Don't let pride get in your way. And a time for healing. So continue to be healing, going through that shadow work, realizing that you're the only person that holds value in your life and power. And you create your reality. You create it. So be picky. And with don't let pride get in your way. Don't let, don't let anything that makes you think that you should do anything there's nothing that is written. Listen to the sirens. There's nothing written in stone here. Life is the limitless. Don't think that you're stagnant or that things are not going to be working on your way because of certain situations. 
get that shit out your head guys we live in a limitless world where there are limitless miracles happening all minute there are people winning the lottery out of nowhere there are limitless miracles here just believe that you are a limitless force and everything valuable everything that's meant for you will be on its way um, if you have any questions, this is the time to ask because the angel answers are here. And we have here, unlikely, a year from now. So, a year from now and unlikely, okay? So, that will be the answer to your question. For the Divine Feminine just entered the chat, we have here, I am a current of wealth. Where I go, the money flows. So, money affirmations, continue that. If you think that your money been rough, that's what you think. Start thinking and limitless. Money flows to me easily. Money comes to me all the time. Money is here always. My money, I'm a money, I'm a money magnet. My money flows. My money triples. I keep my head, heels, and standards high because I am that bitch. Nothing less, everything more. So continue to be in your power. Continue to move like a boss. Don't let anybody um, tell you who you are. Don't let anybody treat you like the end of the stick because you are not. Okay? Realize your powers in this world because you guys are... You guys are healers. You guys are empaths. You guys are like powerful and you don't even know your powers like you guys think about things and they come into fruition really quick some of you guys are psychic some of you guys can look into the future just by thinking and this is ridiculous but you guys have so many powers that you're not a regular person so when you have regular ridiculous people around you this is how your angels make you learn your lesson they, they make you go through these challenges because you're not appreciating yourself. Every time you don't appreciate yourself, your spiritual guides, they will haunt you. They will make you learn your lesson. They will make you go through a lot of bad things, pal number three. Believe me, I'm letting you know. I got into a car accident where I almost died for doing a favor for somebody that was horrible to me. You know what I'm saying? My angels made sure that I fell out that car and destroyed. <laughs> well, I didn't destroy myself, but I had a lot of scrapes. and I, I even have a scar of a heart. It looks like a heart here. But that all happened to me for getting in a car with somebody that didn't appreciate me and wanted me to do a favor for them for free. So, yeah, the angels were like, enough is enough. And that's how the angels will work in your life as well, pal number three. You'll find yourself going through ridiculous challenges because because you're being too nice because you're not being lovable to yourself. You're not putting enough love to yourself. When the angels see that, that's when life takes away from you, when you give too much to others, when you are not being like appreciative, when you're not being like cocky with your energy, the angels do that. So thank you so much for clicking on this reading. Thank you so much for watching. That's all for today. Bye, guys. So for my viewers that picked pile number four, last but not least. What do your angels want to say to you? And we're going to start off with the affirmations for today. We have here, I forgive myself. Uh, as I forgive myself, I leave behind all feelings of not being good enough. And I am free to love. Oh my God, guys. I don't know what's going on with me, but... Ugh, I be getting so much gases. We have here, King of Swords Upright. King of Pentacles and King of Cups. Um, some of you guys got boundaries now, I heard. Wow. The angels want to let you know that. Continue on with these boundaries. Continue to be you because you're just igniting more power and more money around you. Some of you guys have been moving very selfishly. I don't know. I heard this for some of you guys. You've been moving selfishly. Some of you guys have been going back to the past and thinking about how stupid you were by even being in certain situations. I understand, guys. Sometimes we look back and we're so hard on ourselves. But I had to tell that to one of my other pals. I forgot which one it was. But sometimes we had to go through those experiences so that we can learn, so that we can know what we like and what we don't like. Because if we didn't go through those experiences, then we would have never knew what we wanted or we didn't want in our lives you know what i'm saying even the connections even the people you know what i'm saying i know we look back in our lives and we're like damn we really let this person did that to us or do that to us wow and sometimes we even feel embarrassed of ourselves now we even feel stupid we're we're even like damn i really let them talk to me like that <gasps> yeah 
you did but it's okay because in the, it's in the past and now can they talk to you like that oh the hermit nine of wands in reverse and the ace of pentacles the universe wants to let you know to continue to be in this mode of isolation if you are for some of you guys if you are in this mode of isolation continue some of you guys are really meant for big things damn oh my god i just got that wow um musicians artists creators youtube stars a lot of you guys are you know meant for good things you know what i'm saying so um they're heavy on the continue to be in this hermit energy because this is only going to ignite more abundance into your life more creativity you will see more money flowing from your creative pursuits i see here so the angels want to let you know that you're doing an extremely good job to stay in and staying to yourself the angels are saying so continue to stay on stay to yourself i don't know why i'm stuttering continue to stay to yourself because you're doing an extremely well job pile number four we have here wow the ten of pentacles the page of swords and the ace of wands a lot of you guys are going to be coming into a lot of abundance the angels want to let you know so continue to be in the selfish energy continue to heal continue to add love to everything that you do continue to add love to the world that they're going to continue to be blessing you they're going to be continually making sure that you have everything in order everything aligned so basically the messages for you here that your angels want to let you know is to let go let go of you know the future and the expectations let go of everything just live freely and live flowingly because right now they're gonna uh, they're gonna send you all the abundances heavy in your life i heard more money probably a new stimulus coming in some of you guys are just gonna be in your power confident living life eating good food a lot of you guys are not gonna be paying attention to those old so those old beliefs that people put on to you you're not gonna be you're not gonna be listening to people or what they got to say anymore like people's actions are not gonna affect you anymore like you're gonna be a walking force of just confidence and empathy and spirituality it's just like a balance of it all like you're a helpful person but you don't give too much of yourself like you know people are going to be appreciating you more i heard people are going to be respecting you guys pile number four but the angels want to let you know it's just let go of all the fears and attachments rest and rejuvenate because you're gonna have it all we have here the garden and the gate and then we have here fifth chakra archangel gabriel so Archangel Gabriel, he's there for you. Gabriel is there for you, making sure that you're aligned all the step of the ways. You are literally being held by the hand, pound number four, and you're walking into your abundance. I'm here to tell you that you are in your destined path right now. You are in your right path. Rest and rejuvenate. Remember to be nice to yourself. Remember to rest. Remember because sometimes us bosses, we don't have people telling us when to take a break. So sometimes we have to take it upon ourselves to take a break take a break pile number four that's the energy that i'm getting here and be restful and be assured be sure that the universe and the angels have your back that's what the angels want to say to you that be sure that they have your back because they do we have here the three of cups seven of cups and then we have here the well. A lot of creativity is going to be coming in. A lot of you guys are going to be manifesting more. Some of you guys' manifestations are going to be coming in quick. A lot of you guys are going to be having fun, living life. You guys are going to be meeting people that match your energy. Some of you guys are going to be partying a lot. Uh, I'm here to tell you that this chapter in your life is going to be very, very fruitful. It's going to be very, like, stress-free. A lot of you guys are just going to be chilling, relaxing. I heard some of you guys are going on vacation. Pound number four, remember to live your fullest life on this earth because we're not here for a long time. A lot of you guys are going to realize that you're just going to go for the things that you want because if you don't, then who will? Who will? Nobody, right? We have here with the seven of cups it's like some of you guys are going to be magicians like full-on magicians like you're going to be manifesting some of you guys journaling you're going to be doing candle magic like a lot of your magic is going to be working i heard the angels say so continue to be powerful powerful and continue to stay in your power continue to believe in the magic because the most important part of the magic is believing in it and believing that it's already happening 
So we have here with the last couple of messages, we have here harmony, temptation in reverse, and heartache and loss. A lot of you guys are going to be coming into some certain people that once hurt you and they're going to be trying to come back into harmony. The angels are saying, do not be tempted to go back to these people. Pound number four, you're going to be highly, highly tested now that the people that you left in your past to become who you are now are going to soon be making their, their way back like little crawlers, like little bugs. And the universe and the angels want you I want to say to you is to, to be prepared and to not be tempted with the temptation card in reverse a lot of you guys are also going to be running into a soulmate i heard for some of you guys so love career is all going to be working into your favor guys and believe it or not guys it is possible for a career to flourish love to flourish spirituality to flourish every every aspect of your life to flourish pound number four it will and the universe the angels are saying that they're going to be putting tests on you they're going to have people from your past coming back they're going to have toxic people asking you for stuff and they want you to stay in your power love yourself first and see if you're going to fall for any of this so a lot of tests are going to be coming in in the angel state testing your spiritual strength your spiritual belief you're going to have people coming into your face just acting ridiculous and the angels want to test to see if you're going to react to this if you're going to have reactions and you know i'm here to tell you that don't have any reactions because that's they that's what they want you to that's what they want you to um oh my god i wish i can tell you guys this fucking story of my mom two days ago she was really going in 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 guys like i'm not lying for some of you guys oh my god she was like having a competition to see if I was spiritual as I like enough, you know, narcissist little games. You know what I'm saying? Trying to tell me that I was saying that I was not going to have money by the end of December by letting her know that I'm not buying Christmas gifts. I told her you're assuming that and you're actually cursing me by saying that because I had told her I'm not buying Christmas gifts this year because I am trying to move out. Never did I say that I was living in lack and that I was not going to have enough by that by the end of the year. I just said that I'm not buying Christmas gifts, but she constantly said, no, you're saying that you're not going to have abundance that's not spiritual you saying that you're not gonna have christmas gifts for this i'm like lady i just said i'm not buying christmas gifts and to make it smoother for you i told you i'm not buying christmas gifts because i don't want to because i don't want to and then because i said that you know what she said oh you're not spiritual enough because everything i'm telling you right now you wouldn't even react to it if it wasn't true what what guys this is my mother speaking so if this is my mother i'm letting you guys know there's no rules to this there's no rules on who can play this with you guys people are going to be testing you left to right and i'm here to tell you stay in your power and after she said that that i shouldn't be phased by anything that she said guess what happened i literally changed the topic i continually like disregarded everything we were talking about. I ignored everything she said because at that point I realized she's just arguing with me to argue. She's not trying to understand me. She's trying to argue with me and become and basically come to a conclusion within herself that I'm not spiritual enough because I react to everything she says. Of course I react because you're my mother. But now I realize that you're not as mentally capable as i thought you were so you're now playing mind games with me trying to test my spirituality guys my mother was testing my spirituality literally and just to make it clear to you guys she still makes fun of my videos literally like still makes fun of them and tells everybody that basically people that are doing worse in their lives actually give good advice try to slap my accomplishments in the back of my fucking neck literally pile them before so when i tell you that there are no limits to how people can hurt you and who and who and where and what can hurt you there's no limits so i'm here to let you know love you love you first guys love you always because you're the only person that can show that love for you you're the only one that can come and clutch for you you're the only person that can really defend you so be there for you because you're the only one that matters and don't give yourself too much to others okay if some of you guys were attracted to pound number three, go back because I have a very interesting story to tell that I told basically in pound three, I think I did. So yeah, go back to that. But um, let's get to the last couple messages on what your angels want to say to you guys. We have here the hermit again. 
solitude i'm telling you guys solitude it's beautiful ace of swords and strength i feel like it's a lot of us spiritual beings that later on we realize how beautiful being alone is how beautiful it is and how like loving loving and amazing it could be that once you finally love yourself you can just be by yourself like you can be alone and be and be fulfilled and be happy like this is the most loneliest times in my life guys I say this to the YouTube community. I don't give a fuck who has to know this about me. This is the loneliest I've ever been in my life. And I can say here that the support that I've had on YouTube has literally been the only reason I've even continued to do anything that I do. I've even continued to be who I am today, guys, honestly. Like, if it wasn't for you guys, I don't know, I don't know how I'll mentally be like literally like and i'm here to tell you i love you because you will never find that love nowhere else that unconditional love can only be found within guys not family nobody like literally and i'm so sorry oh my god i want to cut this i want to cut this but I had to realize that that your number one supporters are gonna be people that you don't even know a lot of you guys be commenting and just looking at the comments just be making my day honestly like the things that people tell me bro like it just makes me feel so much good about myself it's a love that you will never find but it starts with you and that's what i want to let you guys know the love starts with you and the love that you have for you and you'll realize that being alone is not scary being alone is actually so much peaceful it's so much it's so much better it's so much better guys um sorry let's tap into the advice portion of this reading we have here communication is key and we have here hold your vision um hold your vision continue to be consistent in the things that you want to accomplish in this, in this lifetime in this world continue to be consistent it's the only thing that you need to go at it put in the work and communicate with yourself when communication is key come up it's not with the people around you but more with you communicate on your needs and your wants and what you really want out of this life and what you really need and write it down manifest it believe that you have it already pound number four because this world is limitless period if you have any questions the angel answers are here and we have no and we have look for a sign so the answers would be no and look for a sign guys so i stay here the signs are everywhere nature is our spiritual realm like that's where the magic is at you guys want to find the answer look at the birds think about numbers think about colors you know what i'm saying test your psychic skills with nature test your psychic skills period and see how you know how a lot of things how a lot of the answers that you're looking for in your life are literally within you, you don't have to ask it nobody you don't have to ask google nobody you have the answers with the divine feminine just enter the chat the advice for today is my money grows like my skin glows immaculately period so skin is glowing money is growing i'm so proud of you guys continue to be in your power and last but not least we have here i am connected to the divine source of the universe i always honor and follow my intuition i invite sacred transformation it is safe for me to see the truth so you guys are going to be walking into your truth you guys are going to know the truth you're going to know who is out to get you you're going to know who's there for you this is the most beautiful thing about the spiritual awakening and the spiritual journey that at the end you are woke to the point where you will know everything you will know the answers to everything you will just feel stuff and you will know so that's all for today's reading love those that love on you thank you for clicking on this reading bye guys